welcome back. So we're going to go do a quest for the dozens now. Doesn't compound is here. Keep your fucking tank out of position, so... I was formerly one of the Knights of the Crucible. When I left it, no, no. The Menace Penhelm needs... What's the requirement to kill? So doing Rogue Knight? So you want to make sure you have food ready and you have your charges recharged for your summit. Going into the keep to get the affidavit. For David's in this room here. You gotta be careful because there's a uh, patrol that comes in here. Right, so we have the upper David, so we'll go talk to the NPC. Just for a little bit of XP. One option would be to kill 
the NPC in the actual Crucible Keep. But the problem with that is that then all the knights will uh, not like you anymore and they'll go aggro and you have to fight your way out. Not the most practical way of finishing the quest. Alright, so, there is a fight as soon as you leave this location, so we're going to eat before we go outside. So we don't have to start the fight straight away. So you can actually set a trap just before you engage an NPC. So there's two ways to really do this. As you go towards the NPC, the dialogue starts and you can resolve the quest that way. And if you kill the NPC in this way, you don't lose any faction from the Crucible Knights. However, you don't get to keep the Breastplate. If you start the fight before the dialogue, it considers you completing the quest as if you had gone into the keep to kill the NPC for it, but without losing the faction. So we can do that because we want to actually keep the Breastplate. The, f the actual amount of XP you get doesn't change. So, Penhelm is a pally and will lay hands himself, and so does this Nova Nova Eight with the mace is also healer. So we'll go into melee mode. So you want to put yourself right in the corner here. There's like a as far as you can go. All right, so that's it there. It's like not that obvious that you can go that far back, but so we're going to go in the corner there. We'll put our spirits here. So, because Penhelm has the actual breastplate equipped, he will get a second chance ability similar to the ring, so he will have to be killed twice. Alright, so you technically he's been knocked out, he'll be backed again. Here, so we're gonna. Just 
trying to DPS down him so he doesn't get any lay hands off. Alright, now he's definitely dead. It's so going to use the three to what's left of the shades to take these down. And we'll use uh, some sworn enemies for some extra DPS. making sure everything's on everything. So this fight can get a bit of a grind because these NPCs will heal and uh, they take quite a while to actually kill. But as you can see, we haven't really dropped much below our initial endurance. Just the deflection on these particular guys is quite high, so we'll just slowly wear them down. That's that done. Level up, that's good. Go hand this quest in. Since we only leveled after we completed this quest, you can probably do this quest any time after if you've started or finished the uh, Dormammel quests. If you wanted the breastplate earlier. killed a few people. So that completed. So here's the uh, the breastplate. 12 DR versus 14. But it also gives you second chance, so it's it's semi-useful. 
It also opens up the uh, dozens vendor. super great. This is sort of useful versus some of the uh, shades that use uh, Corrode. But if, depending on what solo run you're doing, this is actually a very good item. It allows you to charm the NPCs. But since we're a godlike, we can't actually equip ahead. But if you were to use another race, this is a, an essential item for a solo walkthrough. Plus 12 wheel is actually pretty handy as well. We'll leave it at that.